everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. How are all of you? I hope you're having a nice Friday and enjoying your day or evening. It's evening for me, and I'm sitting up here because usually on Friday nights, my husband turns on something on television that I have no interest in watching. And that's why I decided to do Fun Friday, so I could just come up here and craft and just turn on the um, video camera and record, and y'all can craft along with me. I have this out because I am trying to finish up these journals, and um, part of doing a journal is you have to make the ephemera to go in it and do all of that. And as I was doing that, I realized I did not have a lot of um, uh, ribbon and lace and things to do what I wanted to do. Um, and so I was going to dye some. And I thought maybe I'd bring you guys along with me. I know I've done this before on my channel. But there may be some new people out there that um, haven't seen me do this. And it's something I need to do. So. It is kind of fun. You get a little messy, and I'm going to do it a little different this time because I'm going to use some of my Distress Oxide. I'm tying this little bow because um, I love how this ribbon looks on here, and I did that with, <coughs> excuse me, with alcohol ink, but I'm going to try and do it with the Distress Oxide and then see which one I look like better. Um, and it may not even be a matter of liking better. It may be just a little bit different look. But anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun to just try different things out today and just experiment a little bit, um, you know, and that way I can have something to work with. I was going through my stash, and it was like, this is kind of a peachy pink color, and everything I have is either pink or more beige or brighter peach or whatever and I I can alter those but I want to make a few things that I can use um, and just have handy so anyway um, that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to put this aside but I just wanted to show you what we're trying to um, what we're trying to do today I have different distress oxides out here I have fired brick uh, worn lipstick, candied apple, festive berries, and tattered rose. I also have um, spiced marmalade and some cracked pistachio. I'm I'm gonna mix and do different things with these to come up with some different tones and. Um, I'm gonna I know that it's gonna be a duller kind of look, but I think that might be kind of fun. Um, I also have um, some different um, alcohol inks out. I have latte. This is Ranger latte. Oh, and I'm sorry for my arm. My son's dog just got a little excited. She used to just get get so excited to see people. Um, caramel and ginger. Anyway, she's a really sweet dog. Wouldn't hurt anybody, but she just, you know, golden retrievers, and um, she's a golden retriever lab, and um, she just is so wanting to get attention and love and whatever, like all dogs do. But she's really, really can't can't stand not having someone pet her, at, you know, at all times. So she gets a little excited. We're working on it. She's still kind of a puppy. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use some of these Distress Oxides, and I am going to be dyeing my um, seam binding, and I use this. Um, I get it off of um, Amazon, and I'll put the link in there for you. This is not white. It is something, I don't know, chalk or something. What's it called? chalk white I don't think it would matter I mean it's just basically white so I don't you know it's just white and I buy 
I buy the white instead of, they have it in different colors, but I like to dye my own um, just because I like how it looks better. And um, plus I'm only buying one color then. And so I am just taking a wad of this off of here. And I like, if I'm going to do this, I want to make it worth my while. So I'm taking um, just some off. And I have um, some water out here and some alcohol. And I am going to, when I do uh, alcohol ink, when I'm doing this, I always spritz it with alcohol and saturate it. Because otherwise you're just dumping color on a dry uh, material. And it's going to, for sure, um, it's going to, um, you know, just, have splotches all over it so you really want it kind of wet with whatever you're doing anyway this is just water and I'm just going to wet it and make sure it's all you know not dripping but wet you know all wet and I just kind of smush it around and I am wearing gloves because every time I do this and I don't wear gloves my hands are whatever color I'm using at that time for a week okay so now that has water all over it and I honestly, on this one, I am going to try, I'm going to try some Tattered Rose, and I know this won't be dark enough, and a little bit of Worn Lipstick, because it's more of a pink. Okay. And then I'm going to take my water and just kind of make it very liquidy. All right. And I'm, I, I know it's not going to mix perfectly. And that's okay because I don't want it to. I want it to have that different look to it. Oh, see, that turned out to be a good color. I just think some of the colors on their own, um, you know, they may not be exactly what I want. Now, see, that's a nice pink. It's not too bright. It's not too, um, too little. Now, the only thing is I would like this to look a little bit more vintage. And the one thing you always want to do, no matter what kind of ink you're using, you want to roll it around and make sure you kind of move the color all over. That's pretty good. But anyway, um, and, it, and it does that better because this is already wet. I think what I want to do is I want to make this look a little bit more vintage. I mean, I like the color, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try using just Distress Ink and see how that looks. Okay? I have some vintage photo, and I'm going to just do the same thing. Put that down there. Okay? And then I'm just going to take my water. And do the exact same thing that I just did with the other colors. I'm going to kind of move it around this so it goes all over. And just blotch it all up. And then I'm going to kind of move it with my hands. Maybe pick up the rest of this. Okay, yeah. See, I like that. That gave it just a little bit more of a vintagey color to it so that'll I think that'll work really well now what I'm gonna do is I like the crunched up kind of look like I had with that um the, the tie on my journal so I don't really ever um iron arm or do anything like that I like this look but what I like to do and I'm gonna do this and I will, I will edit this out, but I dry this. Okay. Now, I may not edit that out. We'll see. Um, this is damp. And what I'm going to do, I want it damp. I don't want it completely dry. And I will just take this and kind of just smush it up. And it doesn't really matter how. Just take it and kind of wrap it up like that kind of just do that and take a clamp or a clothespin or a clip and just do that okay and I'll leave it there 
overnight or a couple days or do whatever. And then that way it'll have that really crimped up look that I'm looking for. So, um, and so I will just have like a little basket of these sitting aside and letting them do that. I'm going to try some other colors because I want other colors. I'm mainly using this for like ribbons and things like that or tags and things in my journal. Okay, let's see. I'm going to move my alcohol over here because I keep thinking I'm going to wind up using it. I don't really want to at this point. Let's put it up here. I'll move these over because I feel like I keep feeling like I'm going to knock them over. Um, so we've got that. Part of the colors that are in there, it has um, kind of a greenish blue color. So I may take this. You know, I might want to use another color with that. Let's see. I'll take a little bit of blue. And this is a uh, salty ocean. And I know I did too much there, so I'm probably going to need another piece. I mean, I don't have to, but I'll be wasting it if I don't. A lot of times, too, I'll just keep envelopes or pieces of paper or cardstock or whatever and just soak up the extra ink so I don't waste it. Okay, so I need to wet this one. And that way I'll have two. Make sure that that is liquid enough. Okay, so now I'm going to try both of these. And I'm going to take this. And I'm making sure that I go in different spots so that I get that color in two different spots. I don't want that much blue in there. I actually think I need more of the pistachio. Put that in there. There, bring it in here, and we shall see what we get. I have no idea. Yeah, that's pretty close to the color I wanted. And the fact that it's not all like perfect and it's it has very you know it varies a little bit, I like that. Um, I don't like it if you have big giant blotch of the white, but I don't like it to be perfect either. I like the fact that it doesn't. Um, have the color all the way through it. So that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Now we got to do this one. You pick up more of this color. So. Okay, yeah. See? That's really good. This one's a little bit lighter, but that's okay. I could make it darker, but I think it's fine the way it is. Now, again, I'm going to try it on the smaller one first and see if I like it. I'm going to take, this time I think I'm going to try my alcohol ink, and I'm going to try, um, I'm going to try latte. And I'm going to put the alcohol ink just a drop down here, one drop, okay. And then I'm going to take my alcohol and spray it in there. Just kind of dilute it, okay? And I am going to just dip this in there, okay? And then do basically the same thing I did on the other one. And this is just mixing the two together. So, and that does dull it down a little bit, okay? That does take the color down a notch. Um, I don't know. I would want that more or less. Let's see. Let me try a tiny bit more. I don't want it too dark, but I just want it to look like it's been around a little bit. Okay, so all right, now let's try it again.
Okay, so now you can probably see the difference, and I'm going to show you. This is the one that I did, and I put the latte on there, okay? And then this is the one that I did that I didn't do anything to. So you can see one's quite a bit brighter than the other. Um, you know, I don't have any problem with either one. So, um, plus this one was already darker. I think on this one, I'm going to try using the vintage photo and see what that does. Instead of the alcohol ink, you might get a completely different look. Since we're experimenting, that's kind of the whole point. Okay, that's the, that's the water. Okay, here we go. And I actually put, you know, quite a bit down, so. Oh, okay, yeah, I like that. I, I'm just wanting more of a vintage look to it. Okay, that's great. I love that. That's perfect. Okay, so I think the vintage photo probably, um, gave me kind of more closer to the look that I wanted so I really like that and so I'm not going to bore you with drawing it right now so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of bunch that up over here and put it to the side and we will look at these later I think on this one I'll just use a paper clip or not a paper clip, a clothespin. I think it'll fit in there. There we go. All right, so these are just sitting in a little basket over here. Okay, so now I'm going to try some other ones. Um, this one, I think, um, I will do uh, festive berries and Let's see. I'm going to try and make this one a little brighter and then and then tone it down. I don't really want it red though. Uh, I think what was that other color? Fire brick. No, that's going to end up being too red, but I can use it. Let's see. I'm going to try the fire brick and see what happens. Where's my stuff over here? Let's see. This time I'll try and get a piece big enough. You know, and even if I don't use it on this journal, I put it in my little ribbon thing. And be surprised how many times you'll be looking for something. Okay, let me get this all wet. Okay, now I'm just going to take this and dump it in, and I'm going to put this other color in there and go back and forth. I think I still have too much color down there. Yeah, well, maybe not. We'll see. Wipe it all up, and then, oh yeah, see I like that color. It's kind of a little bit darker peach. And that's what I was kind of going for because, yeah, I really like that. Okay, so let me wipe that out because I don't think there's enough there to mess with. And I've got it pretty much all over. Getting your um, thing, I've got dog hairs all over me from, from my son's dog. I'm looking at me going, oh my gosh, I have so much dog hair. Um, I really love this color. It's really pretty. Um, and he has one dog that's black haired and one that's white so you know you can't win <laughs> no matter what you wear okay so I am going to put I think I'm going to put the vintage photo on that again because I really kind of like how it dulled it down a little bit but didn't um, so and I don't think you'd want to use your reinker or something like that right on there because it would be really strong. And even the alcohol ink, you saw I just put one little tiny um, 
you know, one drop on there because and diluted it. So you don't you want to be really careful. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I'm going to do it one more time just to kind of, you know. Okay, and I'm doing it again where I'm trying to get it all over and then wipe it all up then mix it around. Yeah, see that dulled it, dulled it down a little bit. I like that. Yep, I really love that color. I think it's wonderful. It turned out exactly how I envisioned it. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I've had a pretty kind of boring week, but that's okay. I like that sometimes. So, all right, I'm going to bunch this one up. It's going to probably take a clip here. I'll put that over here. Okay, the other thing um, that I was going to do, I do a few more of those, but I also have. Um, just some ribbon. I have very little um, ribbon, the color that I need. So I'm going to take, this is just white um, synthetic ribbon that I buy. Not the cotton. I don't think the cotton dyes as well. You can dye it, but not as well. And I do dye it, but I just, I um, don't know what I did with my scissor. Oh, I buried it. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this. And basically, I'm going to do the same thing. And I have no idea how this is going to turn out because I've only done it with alcohol ink before. I think it would, you know, everything um, takes the uh, different inks and stuff differently. So who knows, you know. All right, let's see. Why don't we try some warm lipstick. And there's already some water down there, so, um, and festive berries, right? That's a little bit darker than what we did on the other one, darker pink. And I'm going to go like that. Let's see what happens. All right. Okay. Oh, that turned out to be a really nice color. I like that color. I kind of toned down the pink and made it a little peach. That's really nice. I like that. Turned out great. So I absolutely love that color. Now, one thing, when you do the alcohol ink, it's permanent. When you do it with your Distress Oxide, if you were to wet it, it would probably bleed. But I don't think most people are going to wet their, you know, their stuff. I'll just use this rag. I'm trying not to use as many paper towels. Okay, so now I think what I'm going to do, I don't know if I want to do anything to that. I think I like it just the way it is. I think I'm just going to leave that one the way it is. Now this I have like just a little spot over here where I just take the lace. I don't scrunch it up or anything because it's not going to scrunch up. And I'll just put that aside. And then I have these other pieces of lace. Um, and they're just little pieces that I cut that are all white. That I kind of thought would be kind of fun to do different colors. Um... We'll do those two. I might do that one a different color. And then I've got this big one here. So why don't I cut that a different color? I just want to do part of this. All right, I'm going to do these and then see how they turn out. I'm going to do all of them at the same time. And I'm betting that they all turn out differently. 
I've already got a little pink on there. Which is okay, because I was going to do kind of a pink anyway. Alright, so now what I think I'm going to do is I will take... Um, hmm... Maybe some, I don't want it too, too dark, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some battered rose, which is super light, but kind of a peachy pale, um, and then some worn lipstick. Now I am going to mix those. I just want to see what it comes up with. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not too sure I like that. Hang on a minute. I'm going to get another color. Okay, I found my other color, and I'm using thick raspberry, and this is the Distress Oxide Spray. It's the same formulation. Um, so I'm just going to spray a little bit of that down here. This is more kind of a hot pink. I think I like that. And then I'm going to try that and then I'm going to add something to it after. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. And let's do that and see how it looks. See if it spreads around there good. See, I like that pink because I'm going to darken it up. So I need it to start out kind of bright. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, so let me do the other ones like that. I'm going to probably need more. Let me see if I can pick up the color I need in this one with that. Probably need more. Try not to get spray everywhere. All right, that's probably too much. wet something else and get that in there. Might need a little bit more in there. And the best way to get the color all around is to kind of smush it around. Now see, also too, this is, has more cotton in it so it absorbs more color. So this is going to end up a little brighter, but that's okay. Um, I don't want everything to be the exact same shade. But I can always dull it down. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I really like it. Okay. And see, this has more cotton in it too, so it picked up more color. Let me see if I can get this. I actually want this a little bit darker, so this might work out. Okay. Yep. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, and all three of them turned out a little different, um, and I used the same color, so... What I'm going to do, and what you'll notice is the cotton will pick up the color a lot more than the, um, uh, like the synthetic nylon type material, but that's okay. You just have to play with it and get it the way you want. Okay, so I want to add a little vintage to this. So I think on this one, what I'm going to do is, gosh, let me try. The alcohol ink. I'm going to try, uh, I don't know if I want to do ginger caramel. I'm going to try caramel. But it's a different color. It's a little bit lighter. 
I'm putting more down there because I'm going to try and do all three. And I'm using alcohol with alcohol in them to dilute it, not water. Okay. And on this, I'm just going to dip it in a little bit and kind of move it around. Yeah, that does dingy it up a little bit. I like that. Just a tiny bit more. Okay, yeah. See, that's like a completely different look. And whenever I've done this before, you have to start out kind of bright because it dulls it down a lot. So, all right, so now we're going to try this one in it. I don't want to do too much, but. And you have to pretty much smush it around pretty good, quick because otherwise, oh yeah, I think I like that. I really like that. Definitely like that. Um, maybe a tiny bit more, actually. Yeah. See? It doesn't look nearly as bright. It kind of gives it the peachy tone a little bit. That works perfect. I love that. Okay. And let me do this one. And just to show you the difference. See, that's, these two are very similar in color. And that's what it did. Okay, so it gives it a little bit more antique -y look, a little um, more peach. All right, so let me try that ginger again. I know I don't have enough. Yeah, that's probably enough. And use the alcohol, not the water. All right, let's wipe it all up. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. So anyway, let me just kind of show you what we have on these three. They all turned out a little different. And I'm going to use pieces of this in different spots. So it will be perfect. Okay, so those are good. I'm going to put those aside. Um, let's see here. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a couple of pieces with alcohol ink um, just to kind of show some of the people that haven't ever seen how that works. So I have these two here. I'll just put another one. Um, oh, I'm going to wait on that one. I'm going to do these two. And these are going to be done with alcohol, so I'm going to wet them with alcohol first. Okay. So I'm doing these with alcohol ink. And basically, you're going to do that. Let me move the water over here so I don't want to get it mixed up. You're going to do it pretty much the same way that you would do, um, that you do the uh, other, the how I did the uh, darker alcohol ink. Just put a drop or two in there, and then you want to dilute it. And I'm going to take this one, and I guarantee it's going to be really hot pink because it's hot pink. Okay. And you want that color all over. Now, I like it to not be even, but if you want it totally even, you just keep rolling it around, and it'll, it'll eventually get that way, but I like it not being even. Okay, that's about how I want it, and this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Did I use rose hips or hot pink? I don't remember. I think I used rose hips. All right. I don't need as much on this one. It's not a big piece. Okay. So then, let's 
do that. Now see, those turned out completely different, but that's okay. I want it that bright color because watch what's going to happen. When I add my other color to it, and I'm going to go ahead and use the ginger again. Couple drops in there and then my alcohol I'm gonna try this one first I think I'm gonna scoot that up like this and then see what happens the only thing is you gotta make sure you move them around pretty quick because alcohol ink dries really quick um, that's one reason too why you wet your whatever you're doing to give you some more time to work with it. Okay, see, so it completely toned that down to a completely different color. Okay, this one too. So I think that could even go a little bit darker, but I'm going to leave it for now and see how it looks when it dries. And if I don't like it, I can always um, add more to it. You just can repeat the process. And now the difference too that I just want to tell you is that when you use just alcohol ink, all I used was this alcohol ink and um, this alcohol ink and alcohol, it's permanent and if it got wet, this is a dye, it's not gonna, this is not gonna bleed. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal in a journal because you're likely not gonna get water on it, but you know, just something to know. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple other things, but this time what I'm going to do is I am going to just, excuse me, take some items and I am going to make them just kind of brown, vintage -y, um distressed. I'm not going to do a color. Um... It. So I have different things here. This is kind of a stretchy lace. Um, this is just a bigger piece of um, kind of eyelash lace. And then this is just um, kind of some trim. So I'm going to go ahead and wet all of those. And I for this, all I'm going to do, and I had some pink on my hand, so that's going to get an off on there, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, oh, there's pink on here, too. I'll get all that off. Okay. On this one, what I think I want to do on this is... I am getting, well, it's already turning pink. I wonder if, nah, it's okay. It'll still work. I'm going to take my ginger. And I did about three or four drops there. And then I'm going to take some of my caramel, just a little bit, because this, this is kind of a, just, I'm mixing it all up. And then I'm going to take a little bit of latte. Wet that down. Get that nice and wet. Okay, and then I'm going to just take this and mix it in there and try and get some distributed throughout the whole thing. And then I'm going to just start doing what I did on the other ones. This is turning kind of very, um, almost like rusty looking. But the thing that I've learned on this, it always dries lighter than what you think it's going to. So, um, and also every one of these are going to actually, even though I use the same color on it, they'll all turn out differently. 
like one of the la lace has more cotton in it so it'll turn out darker see that turned out kind of orange don't really like that so I probably am going to change that okay these I kind of like I think these are okay I could live with that um this one I really like it just is a very light tinge to it so I'll keep that these two I think I want to work on the color so now I'm going to try something a little different is I'm going to take my uh, distress oxide spray and spray a little bit down and I'm going to take my water so this is different I'm going to take this and dip it in after I've done the alcohol ink and I'm going to move it around just to see how it turns out. This is just, I have no idea what's going to happen. Doesn't seem to be distributing as well. So, let's see here. It's kind of neat looking, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so it has kind of a uh, more of a blotchy look to it but I kind of like it I like the colors in it um, I think I could live with that I really do I like that I'm gonna let it dry and if I don't like it then I'll always add more to it later but I really like how that looks I like that va that varying color in there so I'm gonna put that to the side and then this one, I'm kind of liking how it's drawing. So I don't know. I may not change it. See, that's what I said. It looked a little dark before, but when it dries, it'll turn out to be a completely different color. I think I'm just going to leave that because I think it's going to turn out to be a little bit more beige than I thought. So I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to do one more thing. I kind of wanted to try... Um, Um, what is this this is um, pistachio Picasso emerald green and turquoise mixed together I want to see how that looks on this trim right here again I'm just kind of getting it all wet and then I'm going to try just a little bit of that it's a little bit more blue than I like and I'm going to put just a tiny bit of green in it all right let's see what happens let us see what we get It's still looking pretty blue. But I kind of like it. I like that color. Mm, okay, I think I like that. I think I like it. I think that turned out pretty close to what I wanted. Okay, so that's it. So anyway, I am going to dry these real quick and show you what they look like dry. And that'll be it for today. I think I'm probably not going to do any other ones. But I think that'll give me um, some to work with. And um, I like doing these. And usually when I do, I do a big batch just so I have them. And I've, I've gotten to where I almost always... Um, I have bought some colored lace that you can't duplicate. Like I don't think you can do red or black. And some of the, the brighter colors but I do these a lot and um, I love them I love I love the fact that I can take white and make it whatever color I want okay so anyway what I'm gonna do um, I think what I will do is
probably just go ahead and brought the camera in a little so you could see. Um, the one thing I wanted to show you um, is here's this is the same lace, and this is done with just alcohol ink. Um, and then this one was done with just um, the distress oxides. And you can notice a difference. This is the same. Uh, lace, you can notice a difference in the, um, you know, like the shininess. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me put two, ne put them right next to each other, and then maybe you can see that. So there is a little difference, you know. Um, so I guess depending upon the look, of course, this is varied a little bit more. I think this distributes the ink a little bit better on the alcohol ink, but I like how they look um, in both situations. I think they're they're good. Uh, honestly, I can see uses for both. So anyway, this is all the distress ink. So that was that one. And then here's just a small piece here. Another one there. Um, this was the distress ink. And it picked up. I like how this looks. I really, I think I love that. I told you it always dries a little bit different than what, you know, it looks like. This is Distress Ink. And I think that turned out really nice. This is Distress Ink. This was Distress Ink. And this was Distress Ink. Okay, so... I personally think they turned out fine. And then we already looked at that one. That's the um, alcohol ink. The alcohol ink. I, it's just a shinier look when you use the alcohol ink. The, you know, and it's just what, it doesn't make it shiny. It's just that it doesn't dull what's already there. And then here's one here. Oh, that was done with distressing. So that was distressing. I definitely need to put that over here. Okay, and this was alcohol ink. So the color is, I think it goes on even more evenly when you use alcohol ink. Um, so, you know, but that's alcohol ink. That is alcohol ink. That is alcohol ink. Okay. And let's see. Oh, that was Distress Ink. I just did this little piece of this. I wanted to see how it would turn out of this place. That was Distress Ink. I kind of like the variation that the Distress Oxide does. I think it's really cool. Um, I think it's just a different look than the Alcohol Ink. So I think they both, depending upon what you're doing, it'd be cool to do both. Um, that's just my opinion. Y'all do what you want to. But anyway, that is kind of what I wanted to show you. And then um, quickly, I will show you. Um, let me get this. I just have one of these. This is done with a distress ink. We had done all these. Well, I just kind of wanted to show you how that looks. So I think it turned out really good. I will show you that in comparison to the other one. And they're similar colors. But again, it's the, uh, the alcohol ink leaves the shininess in there, um, you know, with the, uh, the seam binding. So I guess it just depends on the look that you're looking for, um, you know. So that's the difference that you're going to see, I think. Uh, you know, and I like I like both. I mean, I, I think both have their place. So um, I definitely would, you know, would recommend doing both. It just depends on the look you're going for. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for today. So hopefully that was fun. And I hope you guys have a chance to play with um, dyeing your own laces and things like that. Because... It really is fun, and I think it adds a lot of character to your journal. Um, and it just, it, it really, to me, can 
like the you know see the varied color in there that will look really good i'll cut a piece of that off or whatever i think that it adds a lot so anyway um i'll see you guys again next time